Well, pool fans, welcome to Railbird Pool TV here on Facebook and YouTube. We are live in Rugby, North Dakota at the Armory for the 2023 Rugby Bar Box Shootout. Our match right now is going to be between Soledad Ayala and Tracy Bernhardt. This is the Women's Championship Final. Soledad has got the driver's seat. We're playing a race to five alternating breaks. Iraq, your own BCA rules, and the equipment that's provided by MPA pool must be used. I got Richard Martin in the booth with me. I'm Ryan Johnson. Say hello there, Richard. Hey, everybody. How you doing? This is going to be a real treat. But nobody's been online this weekend. I got a chance to watch this girl play. You guys should uh, really share this and get everybody to watch this. Uh, this is a, she's a solid shot. You guys are really going to enjoy this. And Tracy Bernhard was the women's champion last fall at Spirit Lake over there at, at Spirit Lake Ca Casino and Resort. So she's a player out of uh, Canada. I believe she's the Winnipeg area. So she's a shooter. So sit back and enjoy, folks. We're going to get this started. Uh, I think uh, Soledad won the toss. So she's going to get the honors to... Uh, Break in rack one, I believe. For those of you that weren't earlier, I do believe uh, Soledad just flew in from Argentina, and it's the first time ever she's played on the bar box. Over there, the country she's been to, there's only nine footers. So. Yeah, and she's uh, 20 and zero right now. If you go look at MPA pool homepage, I got pinned in the comments. Uh, you can find all the brackets for the event, including the ladies' division, uh, open eight ball. And if you look at her, she's undefeated through the winter side and won every single rack. She hasn't even lost an actual physical rack yet in this tournament. And she's playing some of the best players around our area here. She's not playing just beginner players. And like you said, she's never played on a bar box in her life. And it's congestion, like Whitmer said earlier. There's a lot of congestion in eight ball, so... But she's a, she's a very good player, very good player. So we're going to get started here. Am I on, on now? Uh, say hello again there, Richard. Your oh, mic wasn't on. I guess I've been talking to myself. <laughs> but yeah, so, welcome, no, Richard Martin. Like I said, if you guys, uh, uh, I, like I'm stating this before, and I was, my mic wasn't on. Uh, she's from Argentina, just flew in, and uh, uh, she's 20 and 0. She hasn't lost a game yet on anything, and uh, uh, she's never played on a bar box before before this tournament. She only plays on nine footers her entire life. She hit him good. She's gonna scratch here. Being Tracy, being the player coming up, having to win both sets. Uh, you know, that's about the best that could have happened for her right there. I mean, other than let's say that uh, she stalls out on the eight ball or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. You know. Hey, Tracy's a very good shot in her own right. So uh, uh, I'm saying I, if she takes advantage of these breaks and uh, uh, gets out a couple of times, uh, put a little pressure on her. We'll see how her game is. But uh, I played uh, uh, solid out in the uh, Scotch doubles and. Uh, she didn't miss a shot. She didn't miss shape. Uh, yeah, and, uh, she's she's about a 16, eight, 618 Fargo, right? Yeah. She's very few games in the system. Probably what two, three hundred in the system. Yeah, she's not very high in the system yet, but she's uh, she's going to play here. I think she's going to play in four bears, uh, and then she's uh, traveling with the uh, uh, t-shirt and Q cell guy up here and. Uh, I do believe that she's going to um, play a couple of tournaments uh, heading west in California and stuff, and then go yeah. back home. And I spent about a half hour talking to her on Thursday night, and she said she's going to travel to uh, Austria for the World Ten Ball, uh, Ladies World Ten Ball Championships. So in Austria, she's very well spoken English. I mean, I was. I mean, she's very well spoken. Uh, young lady I think she said uh, she was 30 I think 30 years I, of age I, don't know. I think right around 30 or 31 so 
she's definitely is excited to improve her game of pool and she wants to compete versus the best ladies on the on the planet to so that she gets better yep somebody uh told me that she owns three pool halls in argentina but now she has to travel to uh, um to improve her pool game and play against some better players she's not scared of competition tracy's working her way through this rack now uh she's solid that seven ball doesn't pass the 11 of course so she's gonna have to figure something out or she's gonna end up having to bank it the eight, I think, passes the lower right. We know it passes the upper right. But I think it does go in the lower right. It's very close. Thank you, Dave. That's what it was. We didn't have the mic on. Thanks, Dave, for bringing that to our attention. She tried to bump the seven there a little bit and then get it off that rail. But yeah, it's a good shot by uh, Tracy. I think she's going to end up having to be for a bank shot now on the seven at some point. I don't see her trying to develop it now, so she's probably going to end up having to accept the bank. She's going to shoot the three in the side. The only thing I could see she could do here is she can shoot three in the side, and I think she's probably going to run into the ten. Then she's going to have the deuce. And if she can get over behind the seven, because the seven will go down the rail the opposite direction. Yeah, by the 10, you are correct. Yeah. So let's see if she can control the cue ball for short side shape. She's looking good here. She looks confident. She's experienced. She's a champion. She won that Spirit Lake mm. tournament last fall, so she knows how to win. Mm. Yeah, and she's won, um, I think her team has won uh, John Stitch's tournament like uh, two, three years in a row. She, her, her team had won the uh, championship. Uh, I think they've leveled up their ranking now, but uh, I, I, think Walker, they had all, the I think they had an all-girl team that went down to Winnipeg and Walker in uh, a couple of tournaments, yeah. They had an all-girl team come down from Winnipeg and okay. won the men's division. <laughs> As that tells you. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, so a lot so, of guys uh, can't play women. I don't, so you know it they, doesn't uh, bother me none. It don't bother me none, Richard. I've never had that problem, but I had a teammate once, Richard. He couldn't play women to save his life. Yeah. Ladies, and it's like I told him, just play them like you're playing a guy. Yeah. You know, treat them with res the respect that they're good and don't be scared about it. Just play. Yeah. You know, they're good players too, and just play hard. <laughs> you know? It was a nice but, combination she made there. Yeah. And now she can decide how she's going to get out here. Yeah, that 11 ball, I don't know if that passes. Good luck, honey. I guess I should turn that off when I talk to her. That's okay. What's she going to do here? 14 ball here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that 11 is going to be the key, but she, it goes in the lower left, obviously. But it might pass the, the four ball there in the upper left, or the two ball, excuse me. Uh, if it passes the two, then it's a lot easier. you got a bigger position area to get into. I think she's probably going to make this ball roll up, and maybe take the 10 in the side and roll down behind it, or either side to shoot in the side or the corner. OK. We got our sponsors flashing in the lower left hand corner of the screen. So they added 15,000 into this event, Richard, yeah, into various Very events. nice event, very and nice helped event. out the kids. The kids had a free pool clinic with uh, an hour with three different pros in different groups uh, for about an hour or so. And then they uh, were, they just finished up their tournament and we got to watch uh, the young the young gun, uh, Joey Kid Baloo, took down the young uh, gun, Jacob, uh, Moen, Jacob yeah. Moen out of Fargo. Double dipped him from the Double driver's seat. Double dipped him in the final. Uh, So so bigger. Ten in the side and get behind there. And she's looking good here. And then she's going to shoot the 13 and then I think the 9 and then uh, get shape on the 8. And I said, a couple people played her earlier and they said they even scotch doubles. They or nine ball. She played seven games and never missed a shot. In nine ball? In nine ball. Never missed a shot. Yeah, she's uh, she's got good fundamentals, but she's got some good shots and uh, she definitely plays uh, yeah. 
Yeah, she plays good. I mean, she's going to be, she'll move her, Fargo rate will move up when she starts playing all these big. Uh, Very these, high. Yeah, I mean, she'll, she, I don't know how soon she'll get to 700, but she'll be in the middle to upper 600 soon. I mean, if you're running seven, day, you know, if you're running, playing seven games without missing balls, you're going to be in the mid to upper 700, or mid to upper 600s rather quickly. It was really funny. She was playing with the, the t-shirt guy, uh, Carlos. Carlos, yeah, yes. Like that. And when we were playing him, uh, Carlos missed the ball. I never seen a death stare like that in my life. <laughs> oh, she was so upset with him that he missed the ball. Uh, and just stared at him. I thought it was I thought it was actually funny. We all laughed about it. Yeah. Like a, she is go, very intense. She I go, has if, that I go if anybody stared at me every time I missed the ball, they couldn't take that stare off their face ever because I missed so many balls. <laughs> I mean so. just talking to her it was intense. She's she's very intense. She has that look well, to her that were yeah. I mean He's a, I mean, to, she was pretty laid back, but I you mean, can talk she, to her about a lot of things, and she and she's good in humor. But you start talking about pool, you can see her intensity level oh, rise up. Oh, it goes way yeah. up. Oh, yeah. I talked quite a bit about pool with her, and uh, she's the best player out of Argentina, the best player out of South America, basically. I mean, as far as female players, Tracy Bernhard up to rack the balls here. Uh, got herself back into the final with a, a third place uh, in the third place match she defeated Angie Lundgren from Cass Lake over there uh, on the hill so that was a Tracy's big... already played uh, solo dad one time they, yeah, played, they I... played for the driver's seat yes that is correct so Tracy's a consistent player here she's uh, in the championship of this this tournament here in rugby she won the Spirit Lake tournament last fall, and like you said, her teams won some big tournaments, team tournaments at the casinos there in Minnesota, so she knows how to win. Yeah, I think they run Red Wing one time, and then maybe uh, Treasure a Island on there. Walker. Huh? Yep, uh, Red Wing, yep, Walker, Treasure Island, yep. Yeah. She didn't come up with any friends there on the break, Richard. No. I like the eight ball, it's out in space, so I'm thinking that So let's uh, see if we can out, out think her, what she's going to take. I'm I got to believe stripes. And well, she's got a good one to start with, because she doesn't want to have to shoot the 11. Uh, she's got the stripe in the low, on the low and south rail here. she can see that there, yeah. Yeah. That's probably her ball there to get started she with. She could also cut the 15 if she really wanted to, too, in the corner. Oh. But yeah, the eight is nice out in the open. Your key ball is... It's not nearly as critical in this particular She's going to shoot rack. the 14 to the side here. Well, she's elevated over this ball, but. Well, this is a test of her stroke here. It'll we'll be a little test to see her uh, process, her fundamentals, how she approaches elevated yeah, shots. I want to see how she does this with um, other traffic on the table since the girl broke dry. I'm going to see how she picks the rack apart. Yeah, picks it apart. Uh, she, uh, I've watched her play quite a bit already, Richard, and she keeps it simple. She can move the cue ball if she has to, but she keeps it as simple as possible, too, though. She really does. She trusts herself to make any shot, any cut, and uh, uh, so she never gets, uh, never really wounds the cue ball up unless she really got to. This, yeah, she doesn't want to shoot the elevated shot, so she's taking her duck off the yeah. table here. So she trusts that she can get, look at that, how she hit that. That is pretty sporty. She got on that 14 for the corner if it goes. Yep. Or she can take this uh, 15, but she won't 13 shoot that on the side. She could, yeah, if, if uh, I don't think she shoots that just simply because uh, then she's running into balls that you really don't want to have to disturb anything right now. Everything goes. You don't want to be moving balls around right now. And the thing is, is if you remove that, uh, what is it, the 10 ball, then the 13, I think, passes into that corner yeah. eventually. But uh, she might prove us, prove me wrong. I just don't like bumping them solids right now. I mean, everything goes if you just keep the cue ball on a string. So well, I think she can, she's going to shoot it. I think she can play bottom uh, right and come to the it, inside of the two and shoot the 10 next. Yeah, if she can avoid, if she can make that 13 and avoid the balls, then she, then she probably come shoots in, it. Come inside the two and still see the 10. Yep, she's going to do it. So she can avoid those balls somehow. Let's 
See, that's why I didn't like shooting it because she tied up the ball, but she, she might be able to make it work. She, she has a shot on that stripe. Now she's just got to figure out that I, other. I don't, um, have you seen that aiming system she uses once when she's looking at things where she takes her fingers and walks around the table like this? And does, have you ever seen anybody use that? Whatever. Uh, I guess, uh, let me pay attention a little bit to that detail now that you told me about yeah, that, yeah. Richard. We played her a few times when she would walk around and wonder balls. She would do this around the table. Sometimes on a rail, sometimes it's out on the table. I don't know, uh, I don't know if that's where she's giving herself a location for the cue ball to be, or if it's for uh, uh, a kick or something like that. I don't yeah, know. I'm not sure what that is, but definitely in the future, I'm gonna either later on or uh, tomorrow or at Four Bears in a couple weeks, I'm gonna ask her about that. Kind of interested in that now. She's asking Whoa. it to hold up. I think it just there. held enough for the 15, huh? Yep. What's that nine doing? Does the nine pass the two all the way in the I don't upper know. left? I don't it's know. It's tight. I'm thinking it might, if it doesn't, she's got to play real good here now because she can come, boy, to get on the, the top of the, the stripe there to shoot it in the same pocket. That's, that's really playing perfect speed. She can move that solid out of the way now, too. Just like that's what she tried to do. Oh, that worked out good. Uh, worked she's out wrong well. angled on the 14. She might have to go forward here, brush the ball, and she hopes she doesn't scratch, and then she can come across for the nine. But if she catches it too full, she could go right into the side pocket off that, off that four ball. But if she just barely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess she's gonna draw it down here and, and come two rails up behind him. That that could be another possibility. I like that shot too, Richard. Yeah, if she can draw out of this and play on the short side of it, just yep, shoot go it two all rails, the way come up behind it. Yep, shoot it down. Then she'll do that. The eight's wide open, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what she'll do. So we're gonna get to see the stroke a little bit here. She's gonna be elevated slightly here, though. This makes it uh, no, she's playing a inside so. Very uncomfortable bridging there. Yeah, she's looking whether she's going to scratch or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's finding her line to come off that two, that first rail. She's most likely she's going to have to uh, use spin to to change the the trajectory off the second rail because she's got to avoid the four, which sends her deep into the corner, and then yes. off the second rail, she's going to have to, to change with spin. And that's tough when you're elevated, using any kind of anything off the, the vertical access line. Did she try to bank that ball? I think she tried to bank it and then was going to come over for it, but I think elevated it didn't, the English didn't spin off the rail like she thought. One thing about it, I don't, she didn't leave her a duck, but uh, she can still make this five, I guess. That might have been what she was trying to do, put the cue ball right where she did. Yeah, yeah, because the cue ball, she got over there enough to get a, a shot on it. Yeah, because so. I don't think the, there's a five going to it. Maybe she's going to play safe here. Tracy's going to play a combination. Nope, Tracy playing safe. Yeah, that's a smart shot. Smart shot, smart shot. Yeah, yeah. She got that out. I like where she left the three too. Tracy left the three. She left it in a good area. She didn't send it willy nilly into other balls and tie it up. You know, she made sure to control yep. the speed of the three. You know, a lot of a lot of beginners will just look. Oh, I can hide them. I can hide them, and then they hit the ball too hard or something, or too soft, and they end up tying up the ball and uh, just create another problem for themselves later on down the road. Uh oh, uh oh, did she hit it too hard? Yeah, she scratched. She scratched. Good she safety to, from Tracy there. Yeah, she was trying to play safe over in this corner because she could hit the nine. She just hit it too hard. Yeah, that was. And now, now Tracy's got the a wide open rack. Opportunity to do what she needs to do. 
And this is what I would do right here. I'd shoot the seven, roll down for the one. And uh, uh, once you shoot this seven, these all of her balls are open. Oh, she missed the ball in hand. Wow. She took her eye off it. She was so well, worried about shape, and she missed the ball. She left her the bank on the nine, but uh, it comes with no positional value, though. No. So this is a tricky situation. But Tracy didn't want to miss that ball for sure. No, no, for balling in. I mean, it just Tracy, doesn't help your confidence whatsoever. Tracy was taking it, I think, a little bit too for granted, just going to yeah. tap it in and shoot these balls. Because that doesn't help your confidence, even though uh, Soledad has got to come with some really good shots here to get get out here in this inning. It just doesn't do your your confidence any good, missing a ball in hand. You know. I've been there, Richard. You've been there. We've, oh, we've all, all been done there, it. obviously. Trying to get a I mean, certain shape and stuff like that, so you forget to make the ball while you're shooting. You're worried yeah, about Yeah, you're so consumed on the I think you turn around and go, hey, my cue ball got right where I wanted, but it didn't help me a bit because I missed. Yes, exactly. I think she's going to roll the cue ball down and end rail and play safe. Little informational note, folks. We got uh, the bracket is pinned on the comments section there. Uh, but Brent Donahue, local player out of Minot, North Dakota, took down Rory Hendrickson, one of the favorites, six to five on the winner's side. So Brent finds his, himself in the uh, the third round of the A side. So congratulations to him, state champion Brent Donahue. I had my shot at him. I made I made a mistake. He's won the scotch doubles. He's won the, the singles eight ball. He's won the, the team event. He, 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 to get the four the four pack, he needs to get the nine the nine ball to join me and Kenny. There you go. I got it, and Kenny Azure got it this year. And to fairness to a lot of the old players, Kenny or uh, Richard, uh, they've only did the scotch doubles since 2017, and, yeah. and the nine ball's only been played since about 2015. And all the. Uh Boy, she was trying to make that in the side and deflected off Soledad's ball and went down the corner. But so she didn't leave Soledad a shot at all. No, she's playing smart enough yeah. to, to where her shot selection doesn't give up anything easy. Unfortunately, uh, with our state venue and other pool halls and stuff like that, no matter where you play in the state of North Dakota, you're not qualified unless you play in a certain area and stuff like that. So I haven't been qualified to play state for the last yeah, you got to be in an NDTA-sanctioned yeah. league. Yeah. And playing down in the pool halls, they only qualify you for like BCA or VNEA or something like that. Yeah, and Moorhead. Yeah. Now, does uh, do you play league on uh, out in Laramore or Hatton? I play in Hatton, but there's not any sanction for that. It's oh, just they're like, not. They're that, no, just that's independent just, leagues. That's just an independent, fun little oh, okay. league with it. Well, Soledad's in a tough spot again here, but. Uh, I don't think she's too worried. She's getting a lot of table time, even though uh, she's in a tough spot here. You know, it, uh, she's up one nothing. She's at the table, and uh, she, Tracy's got her in a tough spot here. But I expect her to to hit this ball here. I wonder why she went back and just changed sticks. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe this is. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering that myself. It's a good question. I think uh, I think she had her break cue in her hand and just went back and grabbed her shooting cue or something there. Well, she has it, three cues out, but I think one might be a one's a jumper and the other a one's a break cue yeah. and the other. I mean, it's a long jump cue. She, maybe she, she just grabbed the wrong predator. stick because all three of her sticks have carbon fiber shafts, so maybe she just grabbed the wrong one. Oh, Tracy tried to do too much again and just missed the ball straight in. That's going to cost her there, Richard. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Soledad's out now. Yeah, yeah. It's just got to keep it simple, you know. Yeah. Just she, you know, just keep it simple. Get yourself started. Get some confidence yeah. rolling. You know, make it keep it eat simple. Get yeah. in stroke a little I'm bit. I'm sure Tracy's nervous because she's and she trying so hard because she, she's going to roll up right behind this nine and. Uh, stop it and then shoot the eight right in the side. And she almost got into big trouble there because if she pushed that nine a little bit, that doesn't pass the corner up there, and then she no. would have had a real tough cut into the side. 
So that could have been disaster right there. She barely avoided that ball. It's a good positional shot there. She's gonna take a two nothing lead and we're gonna take a 30 second commercial break here. Nestled in the geographical center of North America, Rugby provides a hometown atmosphere to grow your family and business with safe neighborhoods, good schools and daycares, trusted medical facilities, and a diversified economy from manufacturing to healthcare. Home to almost 200 businesses, big and small, Rugby provides an abundance of activities indoors and out. Rugby North Dakota, come for a visit, stay for a lifetime. We are back, folks. Thanks for tuning into Railbird Pool TV this evening. If you're just joining us, this is the ladies' championship of the Open 8 Ball Division here at the 2023 uh, Rugby Bar Box Shootout. We got Soledad, Ayala, versus Train C. Bernhard. Yeah, the rack came off, the ball came off a little bit, the head ball, so she went up and re-racked the balls. We're doing a race to five here, alternating break. BCA rules. She hit him good. Got a ball down. Not one. Welcome back, Richard. We took our little commercial break there. Yep. Appreciate I the saw Rugby somebody... Chamber of Commerce and Convention and Visitors Bureau for putting this event on. So I saw somebody posted good shooting to Angie, and it was. She shot very well today. Nice third place finish. Yes, she's got to be. Uh, I mean, you, you want to win, but that's. Uh, Third place is nothing to hang your head yeah, about in this yeah, field. Unfortunately, in this game, there's only one winner at the end. Yes, she can there, Rhino. A little combo here, I guess. And oh, I think she's striped. Oh, she's striped since so she has I the 11 think ball. So she's going to take she's gonna the come 11. up behind it and shoot this uh, 14 over here in the corner. Yeah, she came up a little short here, though. Yep. And what's that ball doing along the side pocket right. right there? Is it near the point? 14 ball, that's going to be a tricky ball there. 15 doesn't go by the three, so. She's got to do something with position there a little bit. It's not too bad. This is where she needs to get some positional value here. Nice stroke. Look at that. 
Took the nine on the side. It, it might go off the 14 here to open it up, but you don't want to push it up onto the 13, though. Well, she didn't bump it, so she's in trouble here now. The 13, I don't think she has the 13, folks. That 14 doesn't pass, so. She's in a little bit of spot here, Richard. Yep, just a little bit here. But she's gonna, she can't really shoot this combo because it'll scratch in the side. Yeah. Because the, yeah, little angle, cause the, the 13 is right off there. the rail. So. I mean, you could go uh, hit the 14 rail first and then try to make the 13. But the problem with that shot is the 14 is just going to leak over behind the, the one and the, the eight. So she's she got to curve this ball. Back. I think she's going to. Look at that shot. She curved it right around it, Richard. Yeah. Just like nothing. <laughs> Good shot. Just like nothing. She's got to draw back here for the side, though. But she's smooth. I mean, if it's froze, this is a tough shot. If it's a little bit off the rail. Uh, she maybe can get it in the side, but if it's froze to the point, this is a tough shot. She's queuing. Looks like she's pulling back, huh? Yeah, it looks like she's pulling back, so it must be outside the pocket enough. Look at how smooth that oh, action that, is, folks. Hey, straight in is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, this is going to make her 23 and 0 in racks in this tournament. Can now the question is can she win this tournament without even losing a game? She's going to be the favorite over at Four Bears. I think Kelly Isaac's got herself a challenge here. Kelly I Isaac's so three-time defending yeah. champion of Four Bears ladies eight ball. But this gal's going to give her a run for that money cuz think I'm so. thinking I don't know if Kelly will be there, but I gotta believe her and Roberto are gonna come up there. I mean, they usually do. Roberto and uh, Kelly usually come up. And I, 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 didn't they say there's a 5,000 added to the women's division this year? Uh, we'll look on the flyer here. Five thousand added to the to the women's division. So yeah. Uh, definitely Miss Kelly Isaac has got herself a challenger if she's there this year. Tracy Bernhard to break here in rack number four, trailing three nothing. So Tracy put a ball down here. Uh, Tracy's got a long shot, but uh, hopefully she um, can work this through and put a little pressure on her. Yeah, at she's, least make a ball or two. And this is a tough opener, though. You know, laying through the table is tough. I think she's. I think she puts it down. She shoots pretty straight. Oh, yeah, Tracy, she's pretty solid because Good shot. where she is from up there in Winnipeg, I Great think they shot. play on. Uh, oh, they uh, play a lot of big. They table. play a lot of nine footers more than we do. So a shot like them is like a middle of the table shot uh, yeah, for a nine yeah. footer. It's not like it's. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And they they even got snooker tables up there now. I don't know if she's if she's uh, played any snooker in her life, but uh, that that's like a six by twelve. Those ocean tables. I, I mean, plan a nine footer. I have to go get a pair of binoculars to see the other end. <laughs> yeah, a pair of binoculars, yeah. How are those 63 year old eyes there, Richard? Eh, they're okay. Did you I mean, go through a phase where your vision started to play with you a little bit as you got older? Uh, a little bit, yeah. When I hit the 50s and stuff like that, it really did. It, it changed a little bit, stuff like that. But uh, I still don't need glasses. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the. Uh, 
old cheater thing with the uh, reading glasses. And I went and got a pair of glasses the other day from the doctor, and all I got them for is because uh, the main thing I noticed when I got older is that headlights coming at you bother you a lot more. Okay. They glare, stuff like that. So I just got a. The doctor said, you don't need glasses. I said, I need to get the anti-glare on the lens. So they gave me a pair of those. And so my nighttime driving, I use those now. And, uh, and what a difference that makes. Thought I have to look at the headlights coming at you all the time, the glare and something. But as far as needing glasses, fortunately, I don't need them yet. I feel like I do because when there's a long shot at the end of the table, it's not as clear as it used to be. I can definitely tell you that. Yeah, no, I've, I've been told by a, a, a couple guys in the pool world that are in their mid-50s, they're like, it's coming. Your vision's going to play with you a little bit here as you, you're going to hit that phase. To but work. if I ever go play a tournament and uh, everybody has good lights over their tables, it doesn't affect me at all. It's when you get to some of these uh, tables, uh, uh, like Red Wing is a really big thing because there's no real overhead lights and there's lights at the end. You've played Red Wing, haven't you, down there? In, uh, I, I never Treasure have played Island? Treasure Island uh, on the river there. No. No. Uh, Red Wing. But there's no table lights, so you just have the conference room lights. And uh, that, that has a tendency to mess with me a little bit because uh, uh, everything gets a little dark, so sometimes it's tough to see the angles with the shadows and, and things like that. Yeah, that's a good shot there from Tracy. Very nice. If you're just joining us, folks, uh, this is the championship match here in the ladies' division. So this is the final. You can find the brackets pinned in the comment sections for all the different events we've had this weekend. So we got our sponsors flashing down in the lower left part of the screen. They added fifteen thousand dollars into the into all the events this weekend. They got a free free shuttle service. We'll shuttle you anywhere around town that you want to go. They got a food, a bunch of food and bar. And that's that's why I said earlier, Richard, I physically went and asked her and she said she lost one rack. She told me that she lost one rack. But I do agree on the bracket. It, it definitely it, it says that she's that, but undefeated. Jen but Black did yeah, win a she, game, so she, maybe it just didn't get marked or, or yeah, the score so got put in wrong. But she has lost a game. She has lost a game then. Cause Jen she, Black that's what she told game. me when I went up and talked to her because uh, someone had told me she was undefeated, so I wanted to ask her. But, and she told me, oh, I lost one game. And I thought, you know, when people were, when then I went and looked at the bracket, and then I thought she was just trying to be humble, like she didn't want to be like, oh, I'm undefeated, you know. But it's just a mistake on the, the, the bracket, so. Tracy's navigating her way through this. Uh, she's, that three ball is tricky. She's got to do something there. I mean, not easy. She was looking at it right now with the one, maybe go behind it and shoot it in the side, but I don't think it'll go from our angle looking at it. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, you can go forward through the gap and try to nudge it out of there. Just just tickle it out of there a little bit. Well, this is what I'd, I'd put a lot of... Uh, and try to go through top the left, field goal gap there. Top and, left and bump into the top there. You got the five in the open. You hope you get a shot on the five, but you would move the three out, hopefully. Oh, I thought she, she should have hit a little harder. She tried to tickle it now. there. She didn't. Will it? She no, might I don't know. It. It she close? might have it. It's close. She might be able to use right hand spin and throw it in. If she I can. think it'll go. If, if it goes, then she's okay. It's really tight. But she might have go. to use a little bit of right hand English just to help it a little bit. I think so, too. And we are playing on Valley Bar Boxes, so. Uh, she's coming in at an angle, though, that she, even on a valley. You got to hit it pretty clean. Yep. You know, you're not right yep. parallel to the rail. Well, know, I would think so. for her to make this end get shape on the five, you may have to uh, uh, play a lot of low right and try to get it to come up, float behind the five. I don't know how straight she is on this. It's tough to tell from the camera angles we have. But. Yeah, for sure. And. Uh, oh, I, she I don't think she, I don't think she can shoot the, the three. Yeah, she's trying to bank the five back. 
But I don't like the 5 0 bank. Yeah, she doesn't want to move that, she's, that she's, ball out she's of the She's playing a safety. She's just playing a defensive shot. Yeah, That's, she's playing a safety. It's a. It's. She's making her shoot a hard, uh, somewhat of a hard shot, but it's it's not a real aggressive safe there, because she can just shoot the 13 and have her buried, or you know have her obstructed, not completely buried. Yeah, yeah. She can just shoot the 13 if she feels like it and roll forward a little bit, but and she can't see none of the if ball. If I was going to play safe and I would have hit the five and went two rails and tried to roll right up onto the three. Yeah. I would have tried to roll right up onto it so that but in they fairness, give her a choice. But in fairness to Tracy, uh, she was in a very tough situation there. Very tough, very tough, yeah. And she probably didn't want to hit the three and move these two apart. And, and yeah, give the, and, and, and that's, that's, that's not a bad decision there, but at least you're making her play safe and, or go Ooh, for a harder God. shot. That's the first time I've seen her miss the ball. Yeah, she hasn't missed a lot, so. Uh, I think she's playing a two-way there, but it's the first time I've seen I don't know if she can see enough of it and just shot it just to play safe. She is might she, be just, you just, I don't know, this is a tough situation. Do you just get the three out of there without moving those balls apart and then just put the cue ball on the end rail maybe That's somehow? what I would do. Maybe try to edge it and then go in behind the three, send the three towards the short rail where her hand is, go to the rail and try to get in right behind it. I mean. But if you got in right behind it, I think she could make both those balls down the corner. And as good as well, she shoots. I don't think so. You'd have but to behind the three. The three would be going to the rail. Yep. And then try to get her on the three. But all you can do is do the best you can. Leave her as tough yeah, as possible. Yeah, it, it's it, she's in a very yeah. tough situation. The one thing you here, can't so. do is give her ball in hand. Yeah, don't foul for yeah, sure. That's, so that's that's, that's the number she, one thing you got to do here. Control here is don't give up the ball in hand. Well, that's not bad. That is not bad at all because I don't think any of those. I don't think she can see the 13 or shot. the 14 clean. The only ball she can see, really see clean is if she wanted to really try to make the nine down the corner or the, the 10 at the other end. Yeah, yeah, and she, she put a little pressure on her too by putting the five right in front of the pocket. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's not a bad Good little shot, shot there from Tracy. I like that shot. I like that shot a lot. I mean, for the for where she was at. Yes. I mean, you couldn't really get a lot more out of it. I mean, she, she wasn't yeah. really gonna logically pot a ball nope. offensively there. I she mean, got, unless she you're got the best out of that shot she could have got. Maybe the 13 goes between them because she's looking like oh, the 13 yeah, goes. Oh, I think it does, Richard. The no, it's the uh, 14. She could see him. I thought she was blocked and couldn't make those. Deceiving. Yeah. I thought she had her. Yeah, I thought she had her hoodwinked where she couldn't shoot those balls. Well, we still got the two balls together down here that uh, are going to give her maybe a little bit of a problem. Oh, they're broke up now. Oh, but she didn't. Oh, she's in a little trouble here now. But yeah, oh, it's she's got the shot on Richard. And she she bumped the 15 when she came around, but she she didn't get out for the 10 like she wanted to, and she's got to shoot a combination now. Oh, I guess it went by there. Uh, like I said, on the TV screen, it's tough to see the angle. I thought uh, she's got to shoot a combo, but 13 went by, so. Yeah, she's looking good now, Richard. It's, yep. uh, I don't see really any issues now. Our camera angle, our screen, we're commentating off a of screen, so it. Some of the, we can't see the, the, the exact precise angles. Thing. And I think everybody understands that on yeah. the stream. But uh, so I thought Tracy had her in a kind of a little jam. Well, there, I thought so it, there too. I thought when she bumped the 15, I didn't realize the 13 would go. Because I, I think she was trying to get past the eight to actually shoot the 10 down there and come back down for these. But. Uh, she shoots pretty clean. If she can see the ball in the pocket, it, it normally goes. Yeah, she she cues very fluidly. She, she drew that way too far. I was too good ah, at the stroke. This will work. She can still cut this in, but uh, yeah, she's gonna have to come two rails unless she uh, decides to. Uh, if she stuns a little bit, uh, stun run through a little bit, she can uh, 
she can get down table on it, but she might just roll this in and come across two rails. Just like that, boom. Right, I mean, you were gonna be hard pressed to get hooked on those balls, even though yep. you were kind of coming towards them. You were gonna end up getting a shot, so. And she didn't feel like doing a stun run through where it would have come to the, the short rail and then back over to the right. Yeah. So. Oh, watch out. You ball. Could have gotten. She takes a 4 nothing lead here. I'm looking at the brackets out there, we got some matches right now. We got Brent Donahue taking on Jeff Clare on table 19. We got Joe Spence taking on Cornell McLean Jr. on table 15. We got Jason Klatt taking on Chad Sims on table 18. And we got Kyle Lobstadal, a local uh, rugby player, a state champion, taking on Zebulon Crawford, who won the Sports Den tournament over me last weekend. I took second to him. And Zeb did, right? They're in a grind them all match. Zeb's in grind mode right now. You know, Kyle's got all the all the local crowd in his in his in his corner over there, and Zeb's got his earplugs in because they're sitting there just they're constantly talking while he's shooting and that. So it's it's slowed Zeb down a lot. And it is what it is, but they're you know, Kyle's talking to people the whole time he's shooting and that. And uh, so Zeb's taking a, is in grind mode right now, and he's got his earplugs in because the whole crowd's sitting there trying to intimidate him out of the match, and he's just not going to have any of that. So. Soledad with the great break there in rack five. She's playing good, folks. Tracy's a good shooter, too. There's nothing, uh, she has nothing to hang her head, head about. She's trying her best. That's all you can ask of yourself, and... Uh, She's just playing a really strong player right now. Someone that's playing really well. I like Tracy's game too. She's a good player. I watched her in Spirit Lake playing the final last fall. She plays good. Yeah, Joey the Kid Baloo is in the, 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 the youngster, the Joey Kid Baloo, the phenom from northern uh, Manitoba, is uh, in the final 32 of this uh, main event, too. He won the, the, the junior event in his division. And uh, he took down Ken Azure, I guess, and uh, who's he playing now, Darren Moan? Darren Moan, playing oh, Darren Moan. Oh, so he's playing Jacob Moan's dad. <laughs> the guy he beat in the final of the juniors, and now he's got to play the, the papa. Yeah, I play the whole family today. Yeah, take them all on. And then if he beats Jacob, maybe he'll have to take, Ro or if he Run beats Darren, Rory. maybe he's got to go Run through Rory, Rory eventually. Yep. Take down the uncle. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. We're up to 101. We oh. reached the 101 threshold on Good. Rail Liverpool TV. We've that had, is great. We had up eight, nine hundred when Shane Van Boning was on this stream one time <laughs> on our Four Bears. I'm sure that, I'm sure when Shane comes on it, the interest goes way up. Yeah, I played him one time in the nine ball division, and I, uh, we had six, seven hundred viewers. I wasn't commentating, but I was playing. But yeah, Shane draws a big crowd. I mean, 
one of the most popular pool players on the planet. Yep. You know, Fedor Gorst, Efren Reyes, Alex Pagulan, those are probably your top four most popular players on the planet as far as the men's. Yep. And then you got uh, Allison Fisher. And it's Kelly probably, Fisher is probably very, one of the more popular get, female players. And Kelly Fisher's getting more and more popular. She's Jeanette a, Lee, of course. Well, Jeanette Lee's always been popular, but yeah. too bad for her health problems. And, yeah. But uh, she's fighting through it. and The Black Widow. Yep, no qualms, and she plays when, when she can. And she still, even with her health problems, promotes pool the best she can. That's, yeah, that's... Very smooth, look at that. We're gonna, John Morris called Mr. Smooth, we're gonna call her Miss Smooth. Or, yeah. I mean, she's very smooth with the fundamentals. She, she, her, uh, and of course, Kelly Fisher, Allison Fisher, uh, Christina Tkach, uh, uh, you got, uh, five zero, folks. You got uh she got going Steyer. her last two racks. She's really good too. <laughs> yeah. Uh have you seen uh what's her name? Steyer, uh she's from uh, Belarus. Uh she's very smooth too. Filova, I think's her last name. Yeah, yeah. Before she married Margaret, uh, Tyler Skyer, yeah. Margaret Fifalova Steyer, yeah. 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 She's yeah. very good QS too. Yeah. And then of course you got all those female uh, Asians in Taiwan that are phenoms too. But uh, congratulations there to Soledad Ayala. Ay 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 Ayala. I'm going to say Ayala. I'm going to guess that. Uh, Taking down Tracy um, Bernhard in the yeah, final. Congrats yeah. to Tracy Bernhard yeah, on a well nice placed. Nice tournament, yeah. Uh, second place. Um, I'm going to guess that uh, uh, Four Bears, she's got a little more competition. Four Bears are going to be a little bit tougher, I think. Um, this is the yeah, first year if, here. If you get, if uh, Kelly this Isaac plays pretty strong, and you'll have a lot of the con local contingent that yeah. played strong here too, but you could have, you could potentially have a couple road players come in there with five thousand added. Yep. And uh, yeah, they had. Uh, um, she she. So so. We get a little used to her, and then uh, a couple other players come in. I think it'll be just as good competition, but. Uh, uh, I think the competition will be just a touch tougher at, at Four Bears, which it usually is even on the men's side, you know, because Corey Duell usually shows up, Roberto Gomez yeah, usually shows up. Yeah, and you'll have Danny, up. and you'll... Uh, Danny Olsen always shows and up. And a lot and of those Canadians come down, but... Uh, yeah, they're starting to travel again after the uh, COVID thing, so we're starting to get, starting to see the influx of the Canadians back down here more and more, which is, which is great. I mean, which is great because... Uh, so uh, before we... So before we leave the stream here, we're going to reboot the stream up. Uh, and we'll get another match going here. We're going to go through the, the, the sponsors here once before I shut the stream down and reboot it up. We got Brad's Towing and Auto Repair, Rugby Service and Harper Oil, Rugby Eagles Club, Main Street Boutique, Baldi's Pizza, Cobblestone Inn and Suites, La Bella Vita Saloon, or Salon, Rugby Broadcasters, Johnson's Plumbing and Appliance Center, Rugby JCs, Bremer Bank, Rugby Chamber of Commerce and Convention and Visitors Bureau, Levers Foods, Gooseneck Implement, Subway, Northern Lights Inn, Style and Use Salon and Boutique, Solid Ground Coffee Cafe, Hardware Hank, City of Rugby, North Dakota Telephone Company, Daryl's Refrigeration, Rugby Amateur Hockey Association, Craig Zachmeyer and Rugby Electric. So those are all the great sponsors that added the 15,000 into the event. And if you get a chance, uh, check out their businesses. And if you do, mention that uh, you saw them uh, advertised here on uh, Railbird Pool TV live here on Facebook or YouTube. Just let them know that you appreciate what they've done for uh, this tournament. So greatly appreciated. And we're going to reboot the stream up here. And uh, if we get another match, we'll go live again. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you in.